I just have to ask you one question. I wonder how he will return to the ring at the age of 57, 58 against Twitter Belfort, but do you know why? He is the father of 11. Yeah, he has 11 children with 6 different wives. And one of his children, even Holyfield, is pursuing boxing dream. And he's doing well for now. He's doing pretty much well for now. 6 foot 2. Young Holly is riding a score 7 0 with 5 KOs. He holds victories over Donis Reed, Nicholas Compton, Augustin Cicero. I only watched the fight against Nicholas Compton. And I've seen that he is tactically very much mature. I mean, tactically, he is fighting like he is uh, 35 years old. Maybe he learned that from his dad, I don't know, but I've seen a huge uh, level of maturity when it comes to a technical aspect of the game. Now he is going to meet Charles Stamford, 6-3-0, 3 KOs, 5 foot 9, which means even Holyfield going to have massive reach advantage. And uh, Charles Stamford fought majority of the guys with negative streak. I only watched his uh, match against Montana Love, Montana Love who was 3-0-0. And he lost via TKO. So against guys with uh, positive scores, he was mostly losing. Montana Love was uh, pretty much super dangerous in that fight. And I was thinking maybe, I'm just saying maybe it was a coincidence. But then when I've seen Montana Love piecing up Ivan Baranchik, and I was thinking Ivan Baranchik was gonna win, then I say, okay, you lost to a good guy. It's not a shame. Now, he defeated Danny Rosenberger, Brent Torren, Jesse Hackett, Austin Markum. He knocked them out cold, but against against Young Holly, I think uh, El Azar is uh, going to have good chances to win this fight. I would go with uh, Ivan Holyfield. I think, though, I think this is going to be a good matchup. Like Charles Stanford could be the best test of his career. Many people will say. Man, 6 3 oh, why are you even rating this guy? What's wrong with you? Why did you see? Well, I'm going to tell you one thing, guys. Nothing's wrong with me. I'm perfectly sure Charles Stanford is a good boxer because he fought uh, Montana Love toe-to-toe -to -toe in some rounds. So you can't say he is a bad. But I think Holyfield, he has this one. So my pick for this one going to be even Holyfield. But I think this is the greatest and the most difficult fight of his career.